I, I started to refine her back using the exacto blade to draw the scapula the valley, valley located on the spine using a, the ball stylus tool and the rakes so far I've been getting pretty good results and detail is CX-5 I've been avoiding doing crazy detail like the ears because of the way I've been manhandling her head they will probably get squished in the next video I might just weld her arms and legs back onto her toes, torso so I can get her in a more cohesive pose I also did some more reduction shaving off from her belly I wanted to talk about talk a bit about body image image nudity when it comes to art being able to create figures realistically and accurately is a commendable ability but it's hard to share it because nudity has always been a taboo I've always been I've always seen studying the human anatomy as a science and as an art and I take it seriously when I was in my early 20s I had my first opportunity to teach figure modeling at a local adult school it was the first time I realized how tricky it is to teach this subject when it's not under a traditional college academic setting I didn't have the same flexibility at the adult school I didn't have I don't I didn't have this the flexibility especially at a private studio because I'm more liable for the safety of the model and the students I have no clue about the rules and regulations when it comes to that I didn't want to get sued or get into trouble by violating any laws it's funny how I never gave it any thought until then it's not like creating a deck uh, uh, creating a cake decorating class at Michael's I found ways to get around it though you can be selective with what you can teach such as you don't actually need a live nude model to teach a figure modeling class if you just do an ecroche model and study the human anatomy a study from a human anatomy book I mean you still can't teach children that kind of with that kind of project I taught kids to sculpt cartoon characters and showed them how to sculpt feet hands and heads but never an anatomically correct full body You ever take a figure modeling, a figure drawing or modeling class and have your girlfriend or boyfriend or spouse get a little jealous from it? My girlfriend was kind of bothered by that when we were talking about it one day. I never thought I would have a dilemma such as that because I didn't have many relationships growing up. I reassured her when I'm sculpting and drawing a nude model all I'm thinking about is making my sculpture like the person look like the person as much as possible it's all serious business for me and hard work but I don't think anything I'll ever say will set her mind at, at ease 
let's face the facts. Anime female characters and female animated characters that objectify women. Orihime is a prime example of that. She's petite, incredibly slender, with giant breasts. Even her personality is a little submiss submissive, ditzy, and timid. I'm not sure if she's considered to be a very positive role model to many women. That reminds me, I think... I think it's interesting how Orihime's body goes through subtle chain, subtle and not so subtle changes depending on the mood of the scene. During comical scenes, when they joke about sex, they overinflate her breasts. When she's serious and about to fight in battle, they make her look more mature, more give her more body mass and make her look stronger looking when it's serious or gets dramatic she turns into a frail delicate petite teenager I noticed that in most anime I've seen whenever they joke about sex comedy is always mixed into it usually involves the male character acting all flustered and un uncomfortable. It's like it's like the creators are like, oh, we know we're being naughty, <laughs> but since the male characters are being silly and act as if what they're witnessing is so earth-shattering to their innocence, we can get away with it in this kind of business... I guess you kind of have to accept it for accept it and take it for what it is. These characters are so deeply integrated into our pop culture that we just have to learn to accept it. If someone commissions you to create something that goes against your moral compass, you pretty much have to do it if you want to put food on the table. There are some lines I can't really cross, though. One of my friends back in the day wanted to sculpt a model of Marilyn Manson ripping pages out of a Bible. I remember saying something along the lines of, I don't think I could sculpt something like that. That would go against my religious beliefs. I do like some of his music, though. You can pick and choose what you want to do, I guess. I have a lot of respect for women. I hate that there's unrealistic body image standards for women. But I know that the same standards, standards go for men as well. I don't want to pull a, an a Anita Sharkeesian or debate on religion on my channel. Poetry time. My heart is burning with the heat of a thousand suns. My brothers and sisters are running away from the guns. My mind is drowning under the crashing waves. The water is too murky to see through this haze. Hold my hand, honey, I'm afraid to die. I didn't want my mother see, to see me cry. I don't... I'm running around... <laughs> I'm pretty much running out of things to, to... To... To write about for my scripts. I might just... I've been working on a new song. I just might... create a really long song and use that for most of my videos. I don't know. I just, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I was kind of, I was kind of um, worried about what, 
worried about what I can say, what I can't talk about. But I think that uh, I think that it's it's difficult for content creators to come up with new things new content and things to say especially for me I guess I don't know it's hard <gasps> but I guess when you run around, run out of things to say uh Well, for me, anyway, I, I was, you know, been starting to say things that, you know, I put some cuss words and a couple cuss words in my narratives and I don't, cussing is... Cussing isn't really part of my vocabulary. Like, I know people who drop f bombs at every op every other word. You know, it's not my. I think, I think it's like appropriate when you you know I'm an adult most of you all out there are adults um So, I think it's appropriate when, you know, when you're quoting something or um, at the, depending on what the subject is, if it's like something that's not a very desirable situation I guess you can use some harsh words but most most people most youtubers when they're giving tutorials or Or, um, you know, I guess they are more inclined to be more professional, not, not be so personal. Or open up about their opinions. I mean, when when people start sharing their opinions about about anything, especially when they're celebrities or famous, I'm not. I'm nowhere near famous or a celebrity. But they just play characters in and are not supposed to have an opinion. But when they do, I mean, the thing about opinions is that is that there's always going to be people who have a different opinion or the opposite. 
So that will always create a backlash. People, I guess people don't like like it when their bubbles are popped. <clears throat> But, um, anyway, back to the sculpture. Oh, when I was, uh, <coughs> reducing the size of the feet. Shaving off um, t wax and shaving down the legs, it was it was making that point where the shins are very thin and um, I was noticing that I can easily pop the foot off because it's so thin at that point. In the Orihime's character, her feet are tiny. The some of the males, male characters' feet are tiny too. But I knew I had to reduce the size. I didn't know if it would... I didn't know if it was going to be able to stand up... On its own... With feet so small. But... I wanted to reduce the size and... And, um... Break it down to... Um control the surface better make the surface more uniform and smooth I'm pretty satisfied at how the detail came out on the back I think I'm gonna go but I, but I think the uh, the scapulas the shoulder blades need some more work. Yeah, but we'll see. I think on the next video I'm gonna... Uh, I said earlier that I was going to weld the, her legs back onto her, her tor torso. I think I mentioned that I'm going to, yeah, I think I did I put her arms on her torso as well. I might have to, I don't know what I'm going to do about the head. I think I might let it cause I'm cause I was thinking about making her bow a little bit do a little bow 
or a curtsy or something like that. Where she's bending over a little bit and I don't know if I'm going to do that though. If I do, I'm going to have to weld her head onto her torso and that would mean I would have to take out those plastic tubes and I'm not sure that doesn't sound like it's going to be easy I might be I might run the risk of uh, damaging those tubes oh well Yeah, so I'm going to get the general shape. I'm not going to sculpt her feet. I'm going to have a general shape of her shoes. And then... And then I'm going to... I think I'm going to, like... construct like cut patterns as if I'm going to construct a shoe of the kind of shoes that she's wearing which is I think is like a leather uh, schoolgirl shoes I might look up some... I need to look up some... References. Yeah, I notice it's hard to find... Images of... Her entire body with her feet. Her feet are usually cut off. Well, it looks like it's coming to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next one.